Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Yu Sun Hin, the Penang State Executive Councillor at SCO, who is in charge of tourism and creative economy in Penang. Today, I would like to share how Penang is driving tourism and creative economy post-COVID-19 for 2021 and beyond. Prior to COVID-19, the services sector, which encompasses the tourism sector, was one of the key contributors to Penang GDP. It accounted to 49% of state economy. That said, the tourism and creative economy sectors are one of the most affected industries in Malaysia due to COVID-19. In Malaysia, the first movement control order was imposed on 18 March 2020 in order to curb the spread of the pandemic. We are here to look at Penang State Government's policy responses and recovery plans to drive tourism and creative economy recovery. During this pandemic, it is important for the tourism and creative economy industries to continue to generate employment and income, which is why at today's presentation, I will be sharing state strategy in driving tourism and creative economy for the future. This is in view of the many things that have changed in the emergence of the new normal. And this brings us to the next slide. Our action plans comes in three phases, including stimulus and urgent mitigating packages to ensure economy recovery. Phase one, to mitigate and elevate the economic impact by supporting and sustaining. Phase two, to manage the crisis by strengthening and adapting. Phase three, to drive economy recovery by rebuilding and ensuring rebound. Phase one is one of the preliminary action plan, whereby the state government focuses on elevating the economic impact from COVID-19 on the people. The main priority is to support the people to ensure that they can sustain themselves. The state rolled out the first mitigation plan through economic stimulus package worth RM75 million. This is a form of economic aid for the working class to regain their foothold, including hawkers, small businesses, taxi drivers, trishaw riders, e-hailing drivers, and the physically challenged, among others. At the same time, the state established an information portal via Facebook, Telegram, and website for effective information dissemination. Name Penang Fight COVID-19 or Penang Lawan COVID-19 in local Malaysian language. It is the first step in curbing the spread of misinformation and fake news regarding the pandemic among the community. Then the state launched the second economic stimulus package worth RM76 million in order to continuously strengthen the economy. The second economic stimulus package was guided by three objectives, namely to provide assistance to Penang's next most affected by the pandemic, capacity building involving the working group and continuity of businesses to ensure the state's economy continue to grow post-COVID-19. Under the second economic stimulus package, the zero interest loan offered by the Penang State Government with RM10 million set aside is specifically for the tourism industry. This is to assist with the businesses and accompany cash flow to ensure that jobs and employment can be retained. On top of that, the state government supports companies' liquidity by offering waiver of lease rentals for tourism players operating on state-owned properties. The state also announced temporary suspension of hotel fee 
a local tax effective for a year to stimulate and drive domestic tourism. Phase 2 goes concurrently with Phase 1. The basis is on strengthening and adapting the industry. This is very important in order to lead to Phase 3 for economy recovery as I see social distancing, mask wearing and other SOPs are here to stay even next year. As the situation improves, we see that many of the new norms of COVID-19 is expected to remain. So there is a need to ease the industry towards compliance SOPs which will in turn serve to rebuild confidence on Penang as a tourism destination. This goes a long way towards instilling trust in Penang as a responsible destination. As such, this is where the Penang Responsible Tourism Campaign is launched. The process of educating the people is a continuous process. It is very important for us to remain vigilant and avoid complacence. And the state takes this very seriously. The Responsible Tourism Campaign is introduced in tandem with the Penang State Accreditation System. The COVID-19 Safety Accreditation Program is to encourage higher compliance toward SOPs. As mentioned earlier, it is in line with state priority to educate the importance of preventive and sanitization routines in controlling the outbreak of COVID-19. One of the main objectives of the accreditation program is to instill confidence in travellers visiting Penang. This accreditation is issued to tourism industry establishments that meet and adhere to strict hygiene and safety standards set by the local authorities. Penang's tourism industry sectors such as hotels, attractions and tour operators are eligible to take part in this accreditation program. Those who have fulfilled the COVID-19 safety accreditation standard will be given the official certification mark or logo to be displayed at their premises and for use in advertising and promotional materials. To ensure continuous conversation and engagement, two committees were set up at policy level to look at recovery at both micro and macro. We have set up a Penang Tourism Economy Recovery Advisory Board, acronym PETRAP, to spearhead the effort to mitigate the social economic impact of COVID-19. We have elites from different industries, including economy, finance and tourism in this board. This board serves to generate policy level recommendations to accelerate recovery, support jobs and economies and increase tourism receipts and foreign direct investment, FDI. The advisory board works alongside with Tourism Penang Next Normal Task Force, which consists of leaders of various tourism industries and sectors. Tourism Penang Next Normal Task Force guides the transition towards the next norm to ensure enhanced safety and security of tourists and employees. For the business events, Business Events Task Force is responsible to outline the measures and produce a sensible, pragmatic and comprehensive business events SOP post-CMCO. The SOP will then be disseminated, shared and applied towards the business events industry in Penang. To manage the crisis, the state also reshuffled ESCO portfolios to spur social economy recovery effective September 15. We have a new portfolio, Creative Economy, made up of former portfolios of arts, culture and heritage, becoming the first state in Penang to introduce Creative Economy. This is in line with our aim to energise these sectors and developing them further. We need a new perspective to look at the arts and culture portfolios as we see the arts and creative playing a bigger role in spearhead creativity and innovation during the pandemic. Many are turning to innovation 
to respond to COVID-19 pandemic. And we believe that the creative economy portfolio can be a catalyst to spur innovation, digital transformation, and encourage business building capabilities. This would go towards rebuilding the state economy and creative economy sector to build resilience. Above the incentive and strengthening measures, the state also met up a series of marketing plans to attract visitors to Penang. This can help to accelerate economy recovery under phase three and better to rebuild and ensure rebound when the situation improves. To better cater to domestic market, we launched Jom Experience Penang, one of the key components showcasing the seven world wonders of Penang to promote the concept that you don't have to travel far to explore even without the hassle of flying there. This campaign aims at making sure tourists can rediscover Penang and its newest attractions on top of the famed hawker food and murals. The campaign was launched at several strategic destinations, uh, for instance, Kuala Lumpur. We also hosted fan trips for travel agents targeted from Klang Valley, which is a potential market for domestic. At the same time, we promoted Penang aggressively through social media to keep our presence strong and promote the positive impact from traveling. To tap into visitor desire to travel, we launched attractive deals through partnerships with tourism players targeting frontliners, travel associations, allies and others. Frequent engagements will also be held continuously with tourism players to continuously address their needs and the impact faced by the industry. We also look at diversification of products through online platforms to support artists while Show Penang. Penang State Government have approved the setup of Show Penang, a platform to support our artists and the art scene in Penang. This platform is for Penang artists to showcase, display, publish and or add their works using an online method. A budget of RM200,000 are allocated by the state government to support this project. Even next year, we anticipate that many new normals are here to stay. Social distancing will continue to be practiced in day-to-day -day life. Practices such as contactless check-in procedures during air travel, reduced food and beverage service during flights and wearing masks, among others, are here to stay. A responsible recovery with the objective of becoming a responsible destination is critical for this industry to emerge stronger and more sustainable from the COVID-19 crisis. These strategies will carry us forward and we will be continuously enhancing the strategies to look at how we could rebuild more sustainably and enhance resilience. These two would be key to build back better and maximize growth when the opportunity arrives. At the same time, Penang, a responsible destination, will be continuously promoted. As the state, I believe that innovation and digitalization is vital in adapting to a post-COVID-19 to tap into the full potential brought about from digital transformations. These are what the state will strive for policy-wise. The COVID-19 pandemic has important implications, presenting both opportunities and challenges. As a Penang state government, we want to make sure that we thrive during the challenges and maximize the opportunities to adapt, innovate and revitalize will be the guide to the new norm of the industry. The tourism industry needs to recover and it should be done together to ensure that the industry move together forward as a whole to support recovery. This is a call to jointly support jobs and economies through tourism and creative economy. I hope today's presentation will open up more opportunities for future collaborations. Before I end my presentation today, 
allow me to share a short video on Penang's educational video on responsible tourism towards encouraging compliance and SOPs. These are her masks. These are her hand sanitizers. This is her self-protective headgear. This is Machi Mia. The most hygienic and responsible tourist in Penang with her complete protective armor to fight COVID-19. Whenever Machi Mia spots irresponsible tourists, she will remind them gently. Chimia, be a responsible tourist. This is a favorite Penang tourist spot. This is the friendliest and most responsible tourist care ambassador, Abba. You must go through him to unlock the endless fun in Penang. He even patrols the area to protect tourists from the virus. Be like Abba, be a responsible tourism operator. Ladies and gentlemen, after the pandemic, we hope to see you in Penang. Take care all and stay safe. Thank you and terima kasih.